tell you what, these are strange days indeed that we're living in, you guys. So I've been finding all kinds of things that are out of place from when I thought they occurred on our linear timeline that apparently it's not linear at all. Basically, one of the things I found was that the wireless telephone was invented before the 1900s by more than one person, no less. But a man named Nathan B. Stubblefield made a wireless telephone apparatus and pretty much died broke um, and got screwed by the wireless telephone companies. There are reports as early as 1882 that Nathan Stubblefield actually was sending wireless transmissions over a mile in distance. He was a man way before his time and he said, I've solved the problem of telephoning without wires through the earth as Signor Marconi has of sending signals through space, but I can also telephone without wires through space as well as through the earth, much like Tesla had figured out how to do. And Marconi, who he was speaking about, also um, lays claim to being a an inventor of wireless communications, and in the 1890s, he definitely proved that he used that technology. Also, Amos Dolbert held several patents, as did Marconi, and as did Stubblefield, all for wireless technology. So it was kind of strange that a whole bunch of people, and I didn't even mention everybody, but there was a man named Reginald Fessenden who lays claim to the first broadcasting, quote unquote, ever recorded. In 1906, there was a broadcast made that was used on Navy battleships. So there was a lot going on. And I find it very odd that all of this happened around the same time as Alexander Graham Bell. But back to Stubblefield. So poor Stubblefield got totally ripped off. They stole his idea. So the Wireless Telephone Company of America basically were a bunch of smooth talkers that came in. And he later called them a bunch of, quote, damned rascals who were defrauding the public. And basically they took his dream and patented it and, and took it away from him. So that's probably why you never heard of him. And overseas in London, there was a guy named David Hughes, who in 1922 invented a wireless telephone system that, well, this is a lady's using it. In 1910, there was a song that was very popular called Send Me a Kiss by Wireless or Kiss Me by My Wireless. I don't know, it had a few titles that I could find. But anyway, it was about wireless phone. And then there was a play and a silent film in 1910 and 1915 called Via Wireless. So there's that. Couldn't find a poster or anything. Anyway. Then it seems that the big thing was motor car telephones. Um, that started happening, well, as early as 1915 is what I could find. But um, here are a bunch of ones from the 50s. And yeah, I don't know. Do they look out of place to you? Looks pretty weird to me. But let me know what you think in the comments. So also, I found as early as the 40s, actually, that people had these huge wireless telephone devices. It was, I don't know, pretty insane. Especially in Russia, I found a bunch of them. And also, well, these are more from the early 60s, but I found all these briefcase phones and things like that. And by the way, speaking of the briefcase phones, it seems that video phones, as early as 1958 is, I think, the earliest one I found, but I had never, <laughs> I mean, did this technology exist before? Um, you know, I could be wrong, but it seems like that our linear time is not so linear anymore, and I don't know, 
I'd love to hear your opinions on this because I just don't feel like that these black and white photos of people talking <laughs> on video phones, I don't feel like this technology was there when I was growing up. And sure, I didn't grow up in this era, but dang, I don't know, I would have heard of this. This would seem, I don't know about familiar, but it would seem okay. This doesn't sit right with me. None of this. This picture is from the 1940s. This one is too. It's like, what? <laughs> and if this wireless technology existed back in these days, then it's not too far-fetched for these time traveler videos to be coming out of people holding cell phones when cell phones didn't exist. But if our timeline has indeed been changed, we should keep our eyes and ears open because, <laughs> well, right now has already happened in that case. It's crazy to think about, but I have some videos coming up that I'm working on that are gonna illustrate what I really think is going on a little better. It's a theory I've been working on for a long time now. And I can't disprove it, so I'm going to start talking about it. So keep an eye on the futures. <laughs> see if you see any futuristic things coming around. Because they might just be influenced by the future or the past, even. It's weird but it might be happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And much love to everybody. Have a really good day. Thanks.